on the fourth sunday of advent three scenes are visible in the first reading isaiah chapter 7 verses 10 to 14 the encounter between the prophet and the king the sign given by isaiah and the announcement of the birth there are also two prominent characters having sharply different attitudes beliefs and convictions king ahaz is subjected to the power of men whereas the prophet depends on the power of god their con- conversation is rigid and persuasive it is underlined that ahaz the king of juda fears to neighboring kings the prophet alert ahaz to have faith in god because only he can save him from the out forthcoming threat he also invites the king to ask for a sign and prove his belief and trust in god but the king refuses to make any petition moreover he rejects to enter into any sort of dialogue that would possibly force him to change his policy that could help him to avert the crisis in which he was plunged the prophet persuades ahaz to break down the old approach so as to discover new ways for dealing with the present situation and saving his people despite all that the king does not want to give up his practices thus in spite of ahaz's refusal and faithlessness the prophet announces a sign the maiden is with a child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call emmanuel a name which means god with us we have to be aware of the fact that it is the lord who takes the initiative and has the desire to live among us the word emmanuel reveals that jesus wants to be like us in the flesh and wants to live with us in our weaknesses and miseries he wants to share our poverty and discomfort and even takes our place on the cross he is god with us in every phase of our lives and wants to remain with us until the end of time do i feel the obligation to carry this god to the world where the humanity is dumped down and facing humiliation discrimination violence hatred war child abuse and refusal of god let us reflect where do i stand in the midst of the conversation between ahaz and isaiah which personality dominates me over when i make everyday choices how do i pay attention to the signs of the time that can affect my life and the life of others positively and negatively my dear friends let us make room for others and bear the burden of one another so as to refuse the temptation of competition mistrust and toughness for the reason grow in peace hope joy love and tenderness merry christmas